Practice listening English conversations. Unit One: Greetings. <gasps> Hello, Jane. How are you? Chris, nice to see you. I'm fine. And you? I couldn't be better. I'm glad to hear that. What are you doing here? I came for a walk with my wife. I don't see your wife. Where is she now? She went to get something to eat. She'll be back soon. Great. I can't wait to say hello to her. I'm sure my wife will be happy to see you too. Hi. Hello. What's up? Nothing much. I'm just waiting for the bus. Have you been waiting for the bus for a long time? I've been waiting for about forty minutes. Forty <gasps> minutes is a long time to wait for the bus. I think so too. Maybe you should wait over there. Why should I wait over there? Because the bus stop is over there. This is the post box. Hello. Hi. This is Chris. Is Terry there? Hi, Chris. This is Terry. How's life? Life is great, but I have not seen you in a long time. Yes, it has been a long time since we've seen each other. I'm so glad you called. All is well with you. Everything is great. Listen, I've got this amazing story to tell you. Really? My battery is dead. <music> Unit two: Leave taking. Your wife has been gone for a long time. Yes, she has. Do you think she will be back soon? She should be back any minute now. I'd love to stay, but I have to go now. You cannot wait a couple more minutes. I really have to go now. Please give my regards to your wife for me. I will. Take care. Thanks. You too. See you again. Is this your bus? I'm waiting for the number fourteen bus. This is the fourteen. Okay. Well, I have to go now. Okay. It was nice talking to you. It was nice meeting you. Thanks for your help. It's my pleasure. Nice to meet you too. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you so much for your help. No problem. I like to help. You are so kind. Well, I should be going. Okay. Good luck. Take care. Thank you. Hope to see you later. You can call me if you want. Okay. See you. <music> Unit three. Introducing oneself and others. Chris, is that you? Terry, fancy meeting you here. Long time no see. It has been a long time. Who's your friend? This is my wife, Katrina. I'm pleased to meet you, Katrina. Darling, this is Terry. We played on the same basketball team in high school. Nice to meet you, Terry. We were about to have dinner. Would you like to join us? Oh, 
Thanks, but、uh, I'm having dinner with my mother tonight, and I must be going. It was good to see you. Good to see you too. Bye. Bye. Hi, Don. Hi, Mike. Who is your friend? Have you met Tina before? No, I don't think so. Don, this is my friend Tina. Tina, this is my colleague, Don. Hello, Tina. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too, Don. Excuse me. Yes. May I introduce myself? My name is Elroy Jetson. Hello. Nice to meet you. Thanks, and nice to meet you too. I sell computers. You sell computers? Yes. If you ever need a computer, please call me. Okay. All right. I do appreciate it. I will call you if I need a computer. No trouble at all. Unit four: Inquiring about health. What's the matter with you? Oh, I had a small accident. A small accident? It looks like you broke your leg. Yes, I did break my leg. How did you break your leg? I fell off a skateboard. Do you have a skateboard? No, it was my friend's skateboard. Does it hurt? Yes, it hurts. Please don't do that. Sorry. Can I sign your cast? Yes, sure. But please be gentle. What's wrong, Jill? I don't feel so good. You sound terrible. Are you coming down with something? I feel terrible. I think I might be coming down with the flu. Have you seen a doctor? No, I haven't seen a doctor yet. Have you taken any drugs? I'm going to the drugstore now. I will go to the drugstore with you. What seems to be the trouble? I don't feel very good. What is wrong? My stomach hurts. Your stomach hurts. Anything else? Well, I have diarrhea. Your stomach hurts, and you have diarrhea. What did you have for lunch? Hmm, seafood and salad. Do you want some medicine? I think some medicine might help me. I will give you this pill. If you do not feel better by tomorrow, please come again. Okay. If I do not feel better by tomorrow, then I will come back again. Thank you. You're welcome. Unit five: Making an appointment. I was wondering if you'd like to go out to dinner on Thursday. I cannot go out on Thursday. I am busy. Are you? Busy on Friday? Yes, I am busy on Friday. That's too bad. Are you busy next week? Let me think. Yes, I am, but I'll be free next Wednesday. Perhaps you'd be interested in going out to dinner. What sounds lovely? Great. We'll have dinner together next Wednesday. I was wondering if you would like to go to the circus. The circus? I'm afraid I can't. 
I don't like clowns. How about going to see a concert? I'd be delighted to see a concert. What time do you want to meet? Can I pick you up at 3 p.m.? 3 p.m. is great. Where will you pick me up at? How about I pick you up at your house? Great! Can I invite my sister, too? Of course. That's very kind of you. Hello? Can I make an appointment over the phone? Yes, you can. Can I make an appointment for 7 a.m. on Wednesday? I'm sorry. You cannot make an appointment for that time. Why not? We're not the office that does not open until 9 a.m. I see. Can I make the appointment for 11.30 a.m.? Yes, 11.30 a.m. on Wednesday. Should it be fine? Thank you. You're welcome. Unit 6. Making a Request Hey, can you help me? Sure. What do you need? Do you know how to burn a CD? Sure, I know how to burn a CD. I want to make a CD of my favorite songs. Okay, no problem. I can do that. It's easy. Thanks. I'll pay you. You don't need to pay me. It's my pleasure. Thanks. Is there anything I can do to help? Where are the CDs you want to copy? Here they are. And here are the songs I want to copy. And here is a blank CD. Great. That's all I need. Excuse me, can you give me a hand? Yes, what's the matter? My scooter has a flat tire. Hmm, is it flat or did you puncture it? I'm not sure. I think it has a puncture. Would you like me to help you change it? That would be nice. I've never changed a flat tire before. Well, I'll show you how to do it. Thanks. And if it ever happens again, you can do it yourself. Thanks so much. You are very kind. It's my pleasure. Do you have a spare tire? I don't have one. Oh, sorry. I can't help you then. Unit 7. Interrupting. You! You! Hey! You! Are you talking to me? Yes! You! You! That is not very polite. It's not? No, it's not polite at all. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be impolite. If you would like to interrupt me or get my attention, you can say, excuse me. Excuse me! Yes, that's right. You can even say, pardon me. Pardon me! Yes. That's right. Now, let's start again. Excuse me? Yes. Uh, pardon me? Very good. What can I do for you? Hmm. I'm sorry. I forgot why I was interrupting you. Excuse me? Do you have the time? Yes. It's half past three. Half past three? Great. Pardon me. 
Are you finished with the sports section yet? Yes, I am finished with the sports section. Could you tell me who won the game? Brazil or France? Here, you can have the sports section. Oh, great! Thank you! Sure. Sorry to interrupt. Do you have a lighter? No, I don't. I don't smoke. Unit 8 Asking for Information I'm hoping you can help me. What do you need help with? I'm looking for information about visa requirements. Visa requirements for what country? Does it matter what country? Yes, different countries have different requirements. Really? Yes, really. For example, New Zealand has different requirements than United States. What is the best way to find information about visa requirements? Well, Maybe you can find information on the internet. But the best thing to do is go to the embassy of the country you want to go to. So, if I go to the embassy, I will find out what information I need. That's right. Do you happen to know where the American embassy is? It's on Broadway Avenue, next to the McDonald's. Thank you so much. Good luck. Hello, I just wanted to ask, what time do you close? What day, sir? Friday. On Friday and Saturday, the kitchen closes at midnight and the restaurant closes at 2 o'clock. And weekdays? On weekdays, the kitchen closes at 10 p.m and the restaurant closes at midnight. What time do you stop serving drinks? We stop serving drinks about 10 minutes before closing. And what time do you open? We open at 10 a.m. every day. Thank you. My pleasure. <music> Unit 9 Asking for clarification. Are you going to work tomorrow? Yes, of course. What time are you going to work? 9 a.m. I have to be at work by 9 a.m. So... Are you free before 9 a.m.? No, I'll be getting ready for work before 9 a.m. Wait, what do you want? Do you want to have breakfast with me tomorrow morning? No, that's okay. I've seen you every day this week. But I want to see you every day. No, that's way too much. Do you remember the other day when you said your bicycle is old? Yes, my bicycle is getting kind of old now. So you remember saying that, right? Right, that's what I said. And you said you should get a new bicycle. Yes, if I get some extra money, I should get a new bicycle. Remember how you said that if I wanted to borrow your bicycle, I could? Sure, I said that you are my little brother. Wait, what's your point? Oh, well, I borrowed your bicycle to go to 7-Eleven and someone stole it. What? Who stole?
stole my bicycle. But, but there's no problem, right? You were planning on getting a new one. Unit 10. Asking for directions. Excuse me, could you tell me how to get to the bus station from here? Which bus station do you want to go to? There's more than one bus station? Yes, there are four bus stations. Oh, I do not know that. Well, I want to go to L.A. Okay, L.A. is west of here, so you need to go to the Western Bus Terminal. Where is the Western Bus Terminal? That's over in Finchley. It's too far to walk. You'll have to take a bus or a taxi. I think I'll take a taxi. Okay, just tell the taxi driver you want to go to the Western Bus Station. Great, thanks a lot. You're welcome. Excuse me. Yes? Pardon me for interrupting, but I'm lost, and I'm trying to find my way back to my hotel. Where are you staying? I'm staying at the Penta Hotel. Oh, the best way to get back is to take the subway. Take the subway? Yes, there is a subway station opposite your hotel. Oh, okay. No, the best way is to take the bus. Why? The bus takes longer. She's clearly from out of town, and the subway can be dangerous. The subway is not dangerous this time of day. It's not. In this area, it's not endangered. The bus is fine. It's kind of you. Unit 11. Prohibition and Obligation Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How may I help you? Well, I have a question. Well, this is the information booth. I have an answer for you. Do you have a light? I'm sorry. I don't understand what you mean. Do you have a light for a cigarette? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't. And you're not allowed to smoke indoors. Oh, I see. Do you have a smoking area around here? Yes, just outside in the parking lot. There is a bench and an ashtray there. That way? Yes, and perhaps you will find someone with a light there. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm sorry, no photos allowed. <gasps> what? No photos allowed in this building. Why can't I take a photo? It's for security reasons, ma'am. Oh, well, can I shoot some video? I'm sorry, no videos allowed either. What about if I take a picture with my mobile phone? No photos of any kind are allowed in this building, ma'am. No video either. So, where can I take some pictures? Anywhere outside the building is allowed. So, I can take a picture? In front? Yes, that's right. What if I want a picture of that? You can buy pictures of that at the gift shop. I understand. Thank you. Unit 12. 
Unit 12, Persuasion, Anne's Giving Advice. What's wrong with you? I'm tired, and I have a headache. Why is that? I've been studying for hours for this English exam. You should take a break. Do you think so? Yes, you should walk around, stretch your legs. Okay, yeah, good. Rest your eyes, get a drink. Ah, <sighs> I feel better. You should eat something too. Want me to order a pizza? That's a good idea. Can I give you some advice? Uh, I guess so. What is it? You shouldn't play video games at work. But I'm just taking a little break. Yes, but it looks bad. Well then, why are there games on this computer? The games came with the computer. Yeah? What's your point? What would the boss think if he saw you playing games and not working? I don't know. Cool! I love that game. What's your high score? 20,128. Ha <laughs> ha. Mine's over 30,000. Keep practicing. What are you standing around here for? Don't you have some work you should be doing? Hey, do you want some advice? What? You should mind your own business. Daily English Conversation Topics Part 4 Who is your neighbor? What are you going to do tonight? I am invited to a party. A party? Where? It is very near my house. What? It's my neighbor's birthday party. Ah, I got it. Who is your neighbor? Do you still remember Jenny? Is she a girl with a cute dog we met at the supermarket? Yes, she is. Okay, I remember. And today is her birthday. She had a small party at her house and she invited me. I think you have a good relationship with her. Yes, we are close friends. Great. Are you comfortable with traffic jams? What's wrong with you? You look so annoyed. Are you comfortable with traffic jams? Of course not. Why? I was stuck in the street near our company for more than one hour. I'm really annoyed now. Oh, I know how you're feeling. I hate traffic jams. Everyone hates that. How can we avoid it? You should go to work earlier when there are not a lot of vehicles in the street. Maybe. I always do that. Do you need to get up early? Sure. I get up at 5.30 a.m and go to work at 6.30. Oh, it's so early for me. You can do it. Do you like visiting natural places? Are you interested in camping? Of course, it's very interesting. 
Next week, we have a camping trip. Do you want to go with me? Cool. But where will we go? Do you like visiting natural places? Sure. Rivers, lakes, mountains. I love all of that. Great. So this camping trip is exactly for you. Where is it? A camping trip on the riverbank. Hmm, very interesting. Yes, we have a group of nine people. And you. Wow, the more the merrier. I'm sure you will have a lot of fun with us. I'm so excited about that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please, subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye.